name is uh, Yorgos Farfaras and I'm uh, responsible of the managing director of uh, Greenways Social Cooperative. It's a social cooperative for uh, mobility, for sustainable mobility, for green transport and uh, green tourism. Cycling is getting more and more in Greece, even with crisis that a student cannot afford even to pay a ticket for the bus. And, uh, also for people that they use it more and more for their physical activity. But there's no space to cycle. And there's no education from, for cyclists or for drivers or for pedestrians how to behave in the street together with the bicycle. So we are trying to cover this gap of education to small ages about how to cycle, but also to other users of the street, how to behave in the streets together with the cyclists and this is difficult in, in this time for Greece. And that's why we started to, to form our social cooperative, believing that uh, we can uh, uh, work in this environment, creating jobs in, in cycling. We find out uh, that there is a sector of uh, cycling tourism or also other uh, jobs created by cycling that uh, in Greece was, uh, was never uh, mentioned. Uh, and. Uh, since we, we saw that there are a lot of uh, people that they want to cycle, uh, to go to their work or even uh, to go for a leisure or for their vacation, uh, we try to create uh, a new cycling routes according to European standards uh, through a European project. And, try, and right now we are creating more of uh, cycling events in order to promote uh, sustainable mobility. We ran last year a European project, it's called Cycle Logistics. Uh, the possibility that uh, we have as cities to, to change from this uh, pollution way of uh, moving uh, products in, in the centre, that we can do it easily by bicycle, by a simple bicycle with uh, bags or with special cargo bicycles. And it's proven that at least 25% of these goods can be moved uh, by bicycle. That means for the community a lot of uh, savings in energy, in petrol and uh, uh, money to spend, uh, uh, but also in uh, traffic congestions. That means that uh, you earn a lot of uh, time when you move and uh, you don't have any noise and uh, you have more space for the citizens in the city and you have more quality. And uh, in all over Greece we have uh, seen a huge impact, impact of uh, municipalities and businessmen thinking of replacing uh, uh, cars, heavy cars with uh, bicycles for gardening in uh, the city gardens or for collecting, uh, for collecting uh, the waste. We run a, a scheme, it's called uh, Cyclists Welcome Alas and uh, where we are giving awards to corporations, to hotels or restaurants that they are cyclist friendly. That means that a cyclist uh, can find uh, a few things that really needs uh, in his route or in his uh, stay in a hotel or in a restaurant, somewhere to lock his bicycle, uh, maybe some tools to fix it, very simple things. Uh, in order to promote uh, this uh, cycling tourism idea in the even in the most uh, remote uh, areas where tourism uh, usually doesn't um, go there. And uh, already we're going to run for the European campaign. It's called uh, Now We Move. It's uh, until 2020 try to get uh, 100 million Europeans out of their couch to start to move, I'm talking about physical activity. And uh, Greenway Scoop is going to coordinate uh, the events for the, this European campaign. For 2014. My name is Kostas Nikolaou. I am doctor in chemistry and environmental sciences and uh, adjunct professor at the Hellenic Open University. With Lazarus, we are co-founders and many others of Proscalo, the Cooperation Initiative for Social Solidarity Economy, uh, founded in 1911. No, 2011. 2011. 2011. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, after that, we we created the consumer social cooperative of Thessaloniki called BIOS Coop and uh, the People's University for Social Solidarity Economy. And uh, we participate also in Initiative uh, 136, which supports the social management of uh, Water of Thessaloniki through local level 
non-profit water cooperatives and also participate in the initiative for the social management of waste, of municipal waste, promoting also the cooperative management of waste, not private, non-governmental, and uh, many others. <laughs> The creation of this consumer uh, social cooperative bioscope, uh, it was something very uh, exciting for the people because more than 300 people created this by giving very few money. We are trying to have products with a uh, very low ecological print and uh, from cooperatives around the Thessaloniki and uh, all these kind of uh, aspects we, are, uh, have, we have in this uh, store are making people be fond of uh, us and they are uh, supporting. The impact of BIOS, uh, Bioscope is not uh, for 50 or 100 people. We are, the members are maybe near to 400, but the people interested about that are thousands because they observe that it is possible to create a normal supermarket which is non-profit, it is cooperative and with uh, very big attention as Lazar said, to the uh, products quality and products safety. So in, the whole, in all Greece, they are enthusiastic about that. Same thing about Initiative 136 for the water, for the social management of the water. The idea was to create one cooperative in every municipality because the greater area of Thessaloniki, the urban area and the suburbans are about there are about 11 municipalities that they are connected to the water and sanitation company of Thessaloniki. The people in Greece, they were enthusiastic about the idea and also the whole Europe. And I underline that in Europe, the question of the, uh, the non-privatization, the, the struggle against the privatization of the water, it was a struggle in order to pass the water, the drinking water, to the hands of the government or of the municipality. There's not in the European continent and tradition for the cooperative for the social manage of the water. You can find that in Latin America, mainly, not only, but mainly. I would say that the impact of uh, the movement K136 is that uh, after three years in the cooperatives of K136 in the municipalities, we have uh, mayors uh, as members of the K136 movement. The mayors are uh, from parties that are uh, governing now, okay? but they are against the government and they are uh, against the privatization. And uh, in the recent uh, days, the mayors decided to run a referendum and uh, they are supporting the referendum uh, against the government. What I'm interested for is to, convict, to convince people to participate actually in creating new collectivities, uh, new trials about in this frame of the social solidarity economy in the all sectors of economy and of the life. We have also, of course, many uh, collectivities uh, in, uh, let's say, time banks or exchange uh, products and services without euro. Uh, but we have to think a little bit that many collectivities that they have started on a volunteer basis, they cannot continue after a certain point. You can go to a certain point, but you cannot go very far away. If you don't uh, create a collectivity that it has a clear ideological scheme, but also financial su success not in order to have profits, just to work financially. So for this people, education on cooperatives, education on social solidarity economy must have a double nature, ideological theory, but also uh, technical, how to do that. People's University of Social Solidarity Economy, which was created also by Proskalo, it has been created for this purpose, in order to help uh, activists uh, or educators or citizens uh, to learn about theory of social solidarity economy but also for good practices. So uh, this, uh, let's say, university is not a real university, of course. <laughs> well, uh, that's why we call it People's University. We uh, have a videotech where you can find all our lectures 
so everyone in Greece can uh, learn and can listen these lectures so they can uh, learn about <laughs> theory but to, or ideological subjects but also good practices, good examples. My name is Sophia Adam. I'm an independent researcher. My field of specialization is social and solidarity economy. Uh, this is where I finished my PhD. And I'm currently in collaboration with the Labour Institute of uh, the Greek Confederation of uh, Greek Trade Unions. The issue is that despite the fact that uh, the government doesn't seem to be that supportive so far, uh, social enterprises thrive. I think that from October until now, their number has doubled. We're talking about almost 400 social and cooperative enterprises that they belong to the specific law. But we have to keep in mind that the register is not that clear because it includes both uh, enterprises that went through phase one, like the pre-approval from the government, and the uh, social enterprises that have already started their economic activity. What I can say for sure is that the number of social cooperative enterprises in Greece has has, is exploding in number for, 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 for Greek standards and for, for the situation of the economic crisis. And this has to do with the fact that people cannot find jobs in the regular labor market and they are collectively trying to solve the problem of unemployment. So I could say that the, the basic uh, reason behind the development of social cooperative enterprises is a, a collective response, is a survival strategy. I somehow feel that in general social solidarity economy has come to stay. Maybe it's not going to be in huge proportions, but some of it will stay and will leave something.